today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles DC Comics New 52 Earth 2 Green Lantern. Here we are looking at the Alan Scott action figure, a slightly older figure, yes, but spot, I don't think I ever really got a chance to have a look at a lot of these, so I wanted to pick them up and shoot the review. That's what's bringing us to this table, this dance right now. The front of the box features DC Comics New 52 Green Lantern Alan Scott action figure. Spin around the side of the package, based on the art of Nicholas Scott, sculpted by Amos Hemsley. The back of the package has a very brief read-up saying, Saved from a train wreck that took his one true love, Alan Scott vows to protect the world from dark forces with the help from a mysterious green flame. Based on, con uh, based on designs seen in the monthly Earth 2 comic book is the latest action figure, uh, action figure from the DC Collectibles Green Lantern. Figures also available are Earth 2 Superman or Earth 2 Wonder Woman, which we have already had a look at in this channel, an Earth 2 Flash, and Earth 2 Batman, which I'm almost I'm almost certain I did already have a look at him. <coughs> Excuse me. For product info and more, go to www.dccomics.com. <clears throat> Got a tickle in my throat. And you can also head over to Comic Shop Locator Service at www.comicshoplocator.com. Spot's going to take a break. Spot's going to get himself a drink just to get rid of this tickle. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the DC Collectibles New 52 Earth 2 Green Lantern. There's more heading away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Slightly devoid of accessories. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't come with anything to speak of other than what you're seeing right now. By the way, if you are wondering, I did get myself a drink, so I'm okay. Just had a little bit of a tickle in my throat. All right, so let's have a look at the figure. Now, it's slightly older. It's near the beginning of the New 52 releases from DC Collectibles. The figure as a whole is pretty good. Although, if you turn the figure slightly to the side... He has a slightly weird stance to him. Um, I thought, okay, let's just adjust the head a little bit. But no, no. If you look at how straight the figure body is, the head kind of tilts to the tilts forward. You don't notice it as much from the front, but certainly when you tilt it to the side, you do notice it quite a lot. Uh, paint is, for the most part, okay. It gets a little questionable in some areas. Let's first have a look at his face, and we'll kind of work our way down. The face is pretty good, but I don't like. I don't like the. I don't know if it's maybe it's the sculpt that's doing it for me. It could be also just the paint, but one of the two things is causing the figure to kind of look like he just ate a sour lemon, or he's trying to. He just ate something he doesn't like, and he doesn't want to spit it out just yet. It's also. They've added just this level of kind of pastiness to it. They've splotched, which hopefully the camera is picking up here. They've splotched all this pinkish red all over his neck and all over the sides of his face. It gives slight an indication, to me at least, that it looks like he's got a, a rash going on on his skin. His skin doesn't look healthy. Also, areas around the eyes, the visor, if you don't want to call it visor, is mask has been very missed on paint, especially like right around the top area here. They've just left paint off. This side's not so bad, but this side right here looks like right there, right there, they've just missed a whole ton of paint. The rest of the body, I can't tell whether it's clean or not because it the yellow and the green seem to mesh pretty good. But then on the front, it looks like it's missing or it looks like it's been gooped on. I'm looking at it closer. It doesn't look like it's messy though. Although it does, from a distance it looks like it's been, something's been missed or some paint has been done incorrectly. But actually looking at it closer, it doesn't look like anything's been missed. Very strange. Um, he does have his ring. Of course, the ring is on his one hand. The hand also does rotate, but it doesn't rotate where you would think it would rotate. It doesn't rotate, rotate at the waist. Instead, it rotates right at the little gauntlet areas of his, of his arms. I guess, as a whole, the paint's pretty good, coloring-wise, that is. But it does scream messy to me, even though it's not really messy. 
even like the back of the figure doesn't come across like the paint's been gooped on or areas have been missed, but for some reason or another, it just comes across a little on the messy side to me. There is areas though around the bicep, don't get me wrong, he is not without flaws. Areas around the shoulder looks like the paint's been scraped off or just missed completely in its entirety. This one side's not as bad. Areas around the gauntlet also look like they've been missed. Areas also where the, the wrist rotates looks like paint's either come off or just hasn't been properly applied. Uh, for your posability on Green Lantern here, his head does rotate. But again, I wish that the head, the neck-wise, at least was tilted further back. It should have been straight up. It shouldn't have been lunging forward. Again, you're going to see it from the front. You're not going to necessarily pose him from the side. Maybe you will. I don't know. But it does look like he's been sculpted badly, at least neck-wise. Shoulders hinge out. They get slightly obstructed. That's about as far out as you can rotate them, or at least hinge them out. It has a full rotation, mind you, in the shoulder area. There's a rotation in the bicep, a bend at the elbow, and a rotation right at that gauntlet area that we were talking about before. He has sadly no ball joint or waist swivel, but a lot of the new 52 figures didn't have that either, so I can chalk that up to, you know, it's just, it's across the board really for all of them. Uh, lastly, he does have ball hinge joints on the legs, forward and back motion, slightly hindered, but forward and back motion on the legs. Single hinge knee, that's all you're going to get and a, a swivel in a very strange place and I guess it's just because the boot has to be cut a certain way but the, the hinge is uh, it's a little on the weird side. Finally he has a, a hinge in the ankle area no pivot to speak of uh, that's again about uh, as much as you would get normally from the other new 52 figure releases. I can't truthfully say I dislike the figure I can't quite also pinpoint what I dislike about the figure. The figure kind of sits in a realm of purgatory where he's not that bad, but he's not that good either. I also do little side nods also. I like the metallic green that they've incorporated, but he comes across really messy, even though he's not technically messy. Strange purgatory you will sit, my friend. Strange purgatory indeed. At today's uh, toy spot, we were having a look at the DC Collectibles New 52. This was Green Lantern, Alan Scott. Um, I also picked him up at my local uh, comic book store. So if you guys are looking to add this guy to your collection, maybe you didn't pick him up before, check out your local comic book store. Not only do they carry new stuff, but sometimes you might be able to find older figures like this guy here uh, as well. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way, more toy spots, and other things heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.